hi guys welcome to another video whereby it's a new video happy new year to everyone and then on today's video we're looking at the dxy usd cat and euro usd so on euro usd i'm on the weekly chart and then as you can see we have the slow here that was broken like on the lower time frame of which if you check the daily chart you'll see that we are currently at that area and then like i said on the previous video is that we expect a clear push to the downside to break that mass psychology before we can push back to the upside so as you can see let me just put it clearly we haven't broken that area as you can see we're just pushing to the downside then another area that i'm looking at is this one here for us to look for those uh pressures to the upside so let's look at the hour chart i'm not going to stay long on the dxy i'm just going to show you a few things so that you can just analyze uh the usd cat and euro usd nicely so as you can see this is what i'm currently expecting this is my forecast then i can just remove this array line here just because it's useless so this is what i'm currently expecting and then as you can see this is the first touch here this is the second touch the third touch and we can expect a fourth touch to clearly push to the to the upside as you can see here and this is my high point of value also just because the market can tend to push to the downside and tap this area before we get like those buying opportunities from here so this is what i'm looking at on the dxy then moving on usd cad uh, let's start on a higher time frame the daily daily chart then let me just refresh so on the daily chart we have a clear push to the upside then we have this high point of value of which the mass psychology has been activated around this point here and then if you look closely you'll see that we have a head and shoulders at this point here left shoulder the head and the right shoulder around here and then we clearly push to the downside so this is a larger flag that is trying to push to the downside to be precise guys so uh let's just uh, analyze everything and then we can get to see if we get like entries so we have an ascending channel like this and then uh, i'll plot that 90 percent rule around that point and then there are a lot of things here that are making sense for us to look for those selling opportunities let's do this and then if you look at the four hour that's where you'll see everything nicely just because we had like a clear push to the downside of which is this one and then this is the corrective move of which this will complete the overall move but also another thing that i'm looking at is this one here let me just remove this i'm looking at this override here we, we can have like an override whereby the market pushes to the upside and then that's when we get like those ceiling opportunities just because we have a double top around this point here a larger double top and then another thing that uh gives me that idea is that we have a incomplete pattern we have the first touch here the second touch here and then we have the first touch here the second touch here so we can have like a third touch in a form of a double top before we look for those selling opportunities so let's uh push to a four hour chart and then on the four hour that's where i'll be catering for this flag here that is happening around at this point this point like this and then also on this flag we have two touches at the top and two touches at the bottom so we have the first touch here the second touch around this point whereby we can get like a third touch in this point then we can sell off from there that can happen also and then another thing is that we can have an override of which is a double top override just like this and then we look for those selling opportunities from here so let me just do this and then we'll do our forecasting after let me just finish up here so now i'll be catering for this uh, ascending channel whereby the market gave us in a form of that uh in a form of that head and shoulders that i was talking about on the lower time frame and then now i'm catering for the current market structure of which is this one and then we have the 90 percent rule around this point here so this is the head and shoulder that i was talking about that gave us that nice move to the downside as you can see here and then we sold off so now my forecast is very very simple what i'll do is that i'll put a line like this at the top just like this 
and then it can be like a triple top just because already we have this first touch here the second touch here and then we can expect the third touch in a form of a triple top and then we sell off from there and then uh, i put a relay in there and then put another one at this point here just to cater for that that touch that i was talking about and then this can be our forecast just like this the third touch and then we look for the cell in this point here this is our first forecast and we look for the cell around this point here and then the second one is this one whereby the market will just give us that uh, triple top and then we look for that tight flag around this point here just like this and then this is our second entry and then the third entry is the top of the structure of which is the larger double top around this point here so on the hour chart that is the same analysis that i'm looking forward to having as you can see this is the forecast that i'm looking forward to having you can just focus on those uh, scenarios that i was talking about and then looking at euro usd let me just refresh everything then let's start on the weekly on euro usd so that we can get to understand everything so zoom out then zooming out you'll see that we have this area here we can see that we have this area here and we have this highest point around that area and then we have a larger descending channel around this point and then now we cater for that must that we, we cater for that multi-touch confirmation of which we have the first touch the second touch and then we can expect a third touch around this point here and then also initially the third touch will just come back and then fill the lows around this point and then we have a complete pattern so now what we do is that we move to a daily time frame then on the daily you can clearly see already the mass psychology has been activated around this point and then another thing that gives me confidence is that on usdcad we are looking for selling opportunities and then on euro usd we are looking for buying opportunities of which is a nice correlation of the dxy and then let me just do this so now we have this overall descending channel at this point here and then we are looking for those buying opportunities up until the end of the trend of which is at the top of the structure and then now we can just move to a four hour chart so on the four hour chart what i look at is the is the nature of the market so as you can see here it's corrective it's it's a very corrective leg it's it's giving us like that ascending type of feel to it as you can see we have a ascending channel and then if you look left you'll see that we have a high point of value in this point here we have a high point of value in this point here and this point here so we are currently in this point here whereby we can get like those short-term sales those short-term sales up until like this point here let me just do this we can have like a double bottom here and then let me just remove that we already know that we are in a high point of value we can just have like an override at the top of the structure and then we have a short-term sell up until this point to give us like that double bottom the double bottom around here and then we look for those long-term buys and then if you look left you'll see that this is a push to the upside corrective move push to the upside this is the larger corrective move that is trying to form up to initially push back to the upside and then before we end the video you'll also notice that the dxy has to uh, clearly form up a clear structure for us to look for those uh, buying opportunities and try to correlate each and everything correctly so this movement here will just give us that uh, larger flag on euro usd while the dxy is busy trickling around that's when we have that larger flag on euro usd and then we look for our nice setups so that is it for today's video i'll see you on another one